the pelvic girdle and groin or high on the thigh if you don't have a tourniquet or maybe the wound is too high to use a tourniquet. So a different guy on a different day that was shot in the arm that I dealt with. So he had an entrance wound here and an exit wound here. So the bullet did this, okay? Now, when that guy was shot, it crosses where the artery should be. The artery is right here near the bone. I get there and I'm just not seeing this vast amount of blood that ought to be there for an arterial wound. But what I did see was right about here, this fist sized bulge above the wound that was purple and blue streaked. <clears throat> And I looked at it and I said to myself, I bet he's bleeding out under the skin. Because just because your blood's in your body somewhere doesn't mean you're not dying. It's got to be where it's supposed to be. Right. And so I said, man, I'm going to put a tourniquet on that. Now, I had a, a potential risk, though. Your arteries are like a rubber band. They're under tension. And just like a rubber band, if it gets cut all the way, it can move. That's a significant risk. So maybe my injury is way down here, but the artery's been cut. Every time the heart beats, it will retract. So this injury specifically was a really big risk to this guy because the wound was so high on the arm, I could barely get a tourniquet above it. So I put it on there, I tighten it way down, and you're trying to watch for the bleeding to stop if possible. And I barely got it on well enough. They get into the hospital and they tell me later, hey, it did work because the artery was nicked. It was killing him slowly, but because it didn't fully cut it, it did not retract anywhere. If it retracted, it would have gotten too high into the armpit, and I would not have been able to put a tourniquet on. This type of solution is what you would do for that wound bag.